When shopping for produce, it's good to know that fruits and vegetables are subject to strict limits for pesticide residue. Maximum residue limits, or MRLs, are set for foods sold in Canada whether they are grown here or imported from other countries. An MRL is the highest amount of pesticide residue that may remain on food when a pesticide is used according to the label. Canada's MRLs are aligned with international standards and are used to make sure pesticides are being used properly. MRLs are set well below a level that could cause any harm. Here's how they're set. Health Canada scientists evaluate each pesticide to ensure it is used in a way that protects people and the environment, but still effectively manages pests. They determine the safe amount of pesticide in a treated food that a person could eat daily and what that adds up to over a lifetime. This daily amount has extra safety levels built in to make sure it is at least 100 times lower than the amount that could cause harm. Then, they estimate a person's exposure to pesticide-treated food, considering the wide variety of foods people eat in Canada. A person's exposure to pesticide-treated food must be lower than the safe daily amount for Health Canada to approve the proposed MRL. The level of pesticide residues that could be on food must be low enough not to harm you. For example, a person would have to eat 280 apples every day for their whole life for there to be any health concern related to pesticide residues on apples. For more information about MRLs, visit Canada.ca Pesticides, a message from the Government of Canada.